until step five, I had no black girl prospects. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, man. I didn't want to play step five. When I got the script, I went through table reading. David, our executive producer, I remember him asking me distinctly, like, what do you think? And I was like, eh, I'm sorry. And so um, I was as caught off guard by this phenomenon of Stefan as anyone. I really had done the show for about four or five years, not fully understanding, fully understanding that all of America thought I was this way. There is no Steve here. I'm Stefan, sweet guy. So with Stefan, Stefan or Kit. Again, I throw my heart into anything I, I do. So I knew how to play him and he, he got better. But um, I'll never forget hitting that living room door for his entrance in the white suit. To this day, I just never heard a spring for me like that. And my, my instinct was to break character and be like, are you kidding me? But in that moment, I knew not to do it because I was like, something really special is about to happen to propel us through this scene. Stefan saved my life. <laughs> like, without Stefan, holy crap, what was about to happen? But at least I had Stefan and any hood I even go into. I don't care if it's a Waffle House in Atlanta or, you know, uh, a chicken spot in friggin' Maryland. Girl, Stefan just walked in here. <laughs> and I love it. I love it to this day.